Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Muckle Lover, and thank you for joining me here in TNO, the last days of Europe, in which we are now going for a dangus or centrist sort of route for Big Daddy Albert Speer. Right now, this is why I did it, because as you can see on screen right now, um, if you'd like to know how we got here, really that one is probably the one that starts everything off in which, with that route, as you saw on screen, that thumbnail will lead you down the full performance path. Right now, it's 1967, and... I've sort of gone for reformists, but not really. Um, we have the authoritarian Democrats, or F, F word, um, Ukraine, Zerbal up here, we have the Militar Bezekalislan, and Kaukasus Militaragirung. So, it is what it is. But really, we have Schmidt's proposal to talk about. To go full reformist, you have to do, Herr Schmidt, do what you will. I've done. Uh, with Hashona, and which basically puts you in a fail state, or puts you in the you know the third round of going extremely conservative, extremely reactionary, where you basically it doesn't end up very well for you. But right now, because of the way we're going, I'm trying to go down the last kind of route that I've not done yet before. So what we must be moderate, Hashbado, do what you can. In which, if you'd like to read about most of these events, please go ahead. I will read the events and decisions and focuses that I've not done yet, but it is what it is. But so if you'd like to read about the cancer that is killing the Reich. Let me get back over to here for you guys. Please go right ahead. So, it is what it is right now, though. Um, we will be going under the boot very soon. Not yet, because going down a ladder hand, I've already done this one. Actually, if you want to see this, I, please go ahead and read them. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I've already done this before. Covering up our crimes, as well as the perfect scapegoat, as well as liberty with collaboration. But right now, um, we go, go over here, and we're doing the great game regarding somebody. I don't know. We're always playing some games here. But right now, we have a strong conservative monthly tick. And an in-between pivot. So we want to keep that in-between pivot as much as possible. I don't like the tick. I wish the tick would be zero, but you know, it is what it is. Social outlook is in-between. Well, the outlook is progressing at 8.55. And we have a diplomatic crisis right now with America. But he's not going anywhere until we have the photos. Good. And I have 99.9% .9 regime stability. Um, I just set this up just to make sure that we basically began as soon as we possibly could. And transcript. What is this? Oh. Oh. Transcript ended. Well, what is that? Well, let's see. For Oberkommando de Wehrmacht. Command. This is Squad A in position outside of Wing B. No visual on hostages. Are snipers on position? Over. Command, uh, command to Squad A. Understood. Snipers are in position. We have a visual on the hostages. Squad B, C, D, E, F. Or E. Are you in position? Over. Each squad replies affirmatively. Alright, this is for the transcript. This is Oberstleutnant Kruger on command. We are about to raid the Fu uh, Frankfurt Krupp factory squads on my signal. Three, two, one. Yes! Sounds of a struggle, various gunshots shouting. This goes on for multiple minutes. This is command, status report. This is squad A. Objective has succeeded. Majority of hostages have been recovered with some casualties. Two wounded in my squad, four slaves in custody. We believe they were the leaders. Each squad replies similarly, though with varying casualty numbers. Wehrmacht forces moved in after initial strike, wiped out residual res resistance, factory retaking with light casualties. Transcript. End. Under the boot, though. The Gang of Four is simply too radical in their proposals for the future of our empire. Yes. Things cannot continue as they are, but to give up the conquest that we've spent six years fighting and bleeding for would be an insult to all those who perished in the Reich's name. The Big Daddy rules Europe by right of conquest and knows that we must never surrender our gains for the sake of soothing his cabinet's collective conscience. The world must never forget that the Reich is a master of Europe, not a hegemon, not a leader, a master. All steps taken to reform the Reich's commissariats must be done in the best interest of National Socialism and the Aryan race. No other excuse is permissible, but be it moral or practical. Now that being said, um... Really getting up to this point for the Dengus route, the things in the past, like before this, between the beginning up until like 67 right now, doesn't really matter too much. I mean, it does matter, but it doesn't really matter too much except for making sure that the propaganda campaigns you're doing um, is swinging wildly to the reformist side to make sure it's in, like, in, so that the populace is between conservative support as a reformist support, so you're in the middle. So, America sees the photos. If you liked about that, please go ahead. These photos look stunning. Of course, it's Germany. Of course, Germany looks stunning. What do you mean? Nonsense. Crazy. It's under the boot. The Reich's cancer. If you like to about that, please go ahead. We've got our workout cut off for us. A job well done. Speer's office was missing one member. An uncommon occurrence. Each man in there, Speer, Schmidt, and each of the other members of the gang watched the door patiently, awaiting Spado's arrival. Finally, almost 20 minutes after the meeting was supposed to begin, Spado made his way to, into the room, carrying multiple folders and dropping them onto Speer's desk. Sorry for my absence, mein Führer, but the action report came in later than I expected. I hope you'll forgive the wait. Spado breathed heavily, finding a suit as soon as he could. It seemed as if he had gotten some exercise in the rush to the office. 
Speer flipped through each folder, searching in vain for numbers. Another few minutes of silence. He sighed and flipped the folder shut. Forgive me, Herr Spider, but I cannot find the actual report in this month of paperwork. Can you give us a rundown? Spider grinned. He had done his paperwork, expected this to happen. Of course, my fear. The operation began in earnest at 12.30, concluding at 13.43. Through most of which the action was finished by 1242. In this period, 104 reporters were killed, with 187 captured and placed in custody, including all four of the supposed leaders. Wehrmacht casualties were 11 KIA, 24 wounded. Out of the 83 hostages taken, 74 were rescued. Overall, I think it's clear that this was a success. Well, hold on there, Schmidt rose to his feet. Sure, the operation succeeded in its goal, and I'm sure we're all thankful for that, but over 100 people were still killed. Lives that would have been saved if we had negotiated. Herr yeah, Schmidt, I understand your concern, but I don't think many are weeping for the unruly slave, Speer replied. Schmidt stared at Speer, ice in his eyes, before sitting back down. The meeting would conclude shortly after. All in a day's work, and now we're over here. So I've done both of these sides, I think, before. So I've done money to gain and mass privatization, as well as lives to save, as well as partial privatization. Overall, I'm really just looking here for which has benefits. Um, if we support the conservative side here, we might support the rural reformist side on another side, as well as this side as well. If you like about enemy prosperity, as well as attack from the flank as well as enemy to freedom, as well as sending the Wehrmacht. An enemy to freedom, hmm. So we do this reformist side, because this reformist side, actually, oh, actually we can do this one without penalty to reformism or anything like that. Um, we could go conservative or reformist, and here it's conservative, and the reformist over there attack from the flank. I do like the insertion, but I think we'll go with an enemy to freedom, because that's reformist, but then we'll go here and do the conservative side, the money to gain. Increase in strength, which would be very, very good. So, if you want to about money to gain again, please go ahead, but the door in the Reichstag. Theodor Oberlander uh, looked out before his kingdom, the floor of the Reichstag, and allowed a deep scowl to spur across his face. The assembly was not in session that day, but these chambers were a place where he could think, and at the moment, Oberlander needed to think to choose a course. He stood from a seat where he had heard so many proposals and pressed so many stamps into ink, allowing his mind to go elsewhere, the man began to pace across the Reichstag floor. As one of Mr. Hitler's ministers, it had been clear that Speer would set the Reichstag on the right course. Oberlin had seen that for himself, as one of the first members of the reformist faction. Only fools and yes-men had truly believed there would be no change in year after the West Russian War, as a few, however. Oberlander could only shudder to think what idiocy Speer would attempt to carve national socialism into. There was a reason that his supporters were called Speerites and not reformers, and a true reformer would see that inoperable madness Speer's real plans contained. But even if he did not rule alone, Oberlander had been the sole voice of reason then, and he would continue to do so now. The German people, he believed, would listen to intelligence and reason over the rhetoric of the firebrands. The party could easily be led to see that such changes had to be done with a light hand. Speer could be kept in check if Oberlander had had him to held him to account. That would be the doctor's solemn duty. He swore to himself that his final act of vigil in the empty Reichstag, such was his focus on that promise that he did not notice an aide approaching until the boy spoke. Herr Oberlander, the Führer would like to speak with you. Oberlander disliked the casual tone with which his child spoke to him, spit in a grasp the difference between a true reformer and a rebellious youth, mindlessly rejecting that which his parents had taught him. A sneer found his, found his face as he replied, If the Führer wishes, c'est la vie. Oh, well, I don't think he'll say c'est la vie, but you know, whatever. Cool, and the money to gain would be great. Um, the student reaction. Oh, we need to read about that one. Oh, the so oh, the odds. That would be pretty good, but the money, money. While much of the Reich had been paying at least passive to attention to the drama unfolding in the Frankfurt for the, for the last few days, none watched more intently or cared as deeply as the students. For the last three days, students in every major university were glued to their phones, waiting for the friends to relay news, new news from Frankfurt. From there, they would speak to their friends, who would spread it across their dorms through this jury-rigged communication line. The students stayed up to date on every moment, every movement, every development, and every shot, all watching intently for Speer's response. Perhaps this was a turning point for him to finally kick up slave retribution to a new level. To say that the reports of the Wehrmacht storming the factory disappointed and angered the students greatly would be an incredible understatement. As the news spread throughout the cities of Germania, so too did the protests. The university dorms emptied onto the streets as thousands of enraged students marched on a scale not seen since the chaotic days of 63. Various protests chants filled the air, each different in sound and lyrics, but each revolved around one theme, betrayal. The streets would eventually empty, of course, but the feeling of resentment lingered. Across the Reich, portraits of Speer were silently taken off walls. Posters espousing Speer's ideals slowly disappeared from college campuses. And every campus, the tone of political discourse shifted from idealistic dreaming to a bitter disappointment as once again a leader had betrayed the youth of Germania. Perhaps it was not as bad as it could have been. A straight invasion of the complex may have driven the students to riot. Oh boy. But the damage was clear. Speer had let the students down, and never again would they trust him so blindly. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Ah, oh, very good. Very, very good. Ah, and the whales. Whales? Welsh. Goodbye, whales. How long is this focus? Holy crap, this is a long focus. 
a trial. The judge wrapped his gavel twice, leaning forward to give his final remarks. The audience, hypnotized by the spectacle of it all, leaned forward with him, indeed. The only four members of the court that seemed untouched by the spell were the defendants, who stared daggers into the robes, uh, judge's robes, actually. I believe this course has heard enough. Through the course of his trial, we have heard tales from witness after witness of these slaves' brutality. They rose up against the order of things, took arms from the workers of the factory, and made hostages of any who dared resist their takeover. And when the time to restore order to the facility came, they brutally murdered numerous brave sons of our Reich. I'm truly saddened by that the, last, that the worst penalty that I can give to these heartless pigs is death to be executed immediately by a firing squad. The crowd roared its approval, and the booze came fast and heavy as soldiers hoisted the slaves to the fleet, beginning to drag themselves down the hall and out of the courthouse. Suddenly, one wriggled free. He pushed past the guards, and in one loud yell shouted something that silenced the room. It would not be published in the news reports the next day, nor would it stop the crackle of gunfire that occurred in the next minutes, yet it stuck with those who heard it long after the other details of the trial faded from the memory. <clears throat> After all, there was only one thing that could mean. If, if the slaves spoke the truth, then what would the next years bring? We will bury you. And sometimes that is why you need a very heavy hand to deal with slaves. Why would you have slavery? Well, because you need it. But it's an institution that may need some adjustments. A tight grip on the East, after re reasserting its hegemony over the lands formerly belonging to the Eastern Reich's Commissariat, the Reich has decided to reorganize them into the Reichslander, autonomous regions under strict surveillance from Germania. A native Reichsstadtherr, aided by a government mostly of their choosing, shall oversee a civilian administration in order to ensure a tight grip over the territory, but a better administration compared to the excesses perpetrated by some of the old Reichskommissars. While this will probably mitigate the worst effects of German domination, most observers agree that it will do little to quench the burning hate the natives feel for the overlords, but they believe that an increased wave of partisan attacks is to be expected at the first sign of weakness from the government. Two and six, huh? Oh, we've won. Three and one? I'm not even going to bother. Our rule is stronger than ever. Actually, we can bother just a little bit. Naval speed we can span, that's fine with us. Actually, is everyone here in the Reich's Pact? Romania, Bulgaria, Hungary, Slovakia, everyone, everyone that matters. Maybe except for the French. Cool. Uh, stability is 93%. Uh, we can do political stuff like that. Um, anything down here? Yes. How was this doing? 79% is not good enough. Fate of the East. Oh, divide Ostland. Under Reichsland and the Baltics and a Belarusian Reichsland. Now that the grips of the Reichs grip is recurring from the petals of the Burger Creek, Speer has decided to that, that to that the Reichs conquest shall be organized as Reichslander. We'll give them some breathing space within the structure of the Reich. Establish a Reichsland government in Poland. The formation of the Reichsland Ukraine. I also create a Reichs Protectorat in the Caucasus. That's going to lag very hard here very soon, but before we do that, um, as you can see, I've already dismantled Siemens on the screen. Like, that corporation is gone. That's how we started with quite a bit of political power already. Very nice. Uh, down in my bends, we need to gain. Let's wait and do this one first. And I was really waiting off screen to, until I started re recording just so that like we could like dismantle more stuff together. So, And figure out which way we wanted to go, really. Uh, there you go. Marines, because we can. Fresh blood. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. The benevolence of Speer reveals itself. Mass privatization. Well, that one doesn't really matter too much to me right now. We can kind of wait. Um, oh, oh yes. Well, let's see. I'm, okay, so I've done social market before. I've also done guiding hand. So we're going to choose a social state as well as a firm chain, which is going to actually really hurt us really badly, but whatever. Um, enemy to freedom. Yeah, we got to do that one because we did go with the conservative side here. And enemy of prosperity, we would have lost political power anyways. We lose PP here too. Uh, An enemy of freedom, if you'd like to do about that, please go right ahead. So now, any other effects we do against Reich's Vaca will be extra. Which you do like. 1.5, 1, 1, 0.3, 0.2. I like that a lot. There you go. Not bad. And also, I am using the radio packs. We have Allies, base game, Allies, Soviets, Comintern, as well as the classic. So, hopefully, I don't get copyright struck. That'd be not very good for us, would it? Most for me. And take a satellites? Oh, actually, what about over here? Seventy-seven percent is too low of a chance. We can always wait. Satellites. Thank you very much. And research. Uh, we did most of these already. Chance, success, chance, growth. Let's get more growth. Personal radios. Thank you. Ninety-six percent stability. And we'll just close out of this. I don't want to see this. Thank you very much. An enemy to freedom. Sending the Wehrmacht fraternizing with the enemy. If you like to about that, please go ahead. Ah, uh, Antonin. Antonin, Antonin. Sending the Wehrmacht. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Thank you very much. Oh. And now we have 36. Uh, somebody, actually, I'll keep an eye on this, yeah. I want to make sure we actually keep doing this one. That would be good. 
Um, the conservative tick is going way down, which is really nice. I don't want to go above 500 because then it'll be over here, which wouldn't be good for us, but it's alright. It's totally okay. 91% is fine. Anything else sitting in the Vemoct? Good. Assertion, if you'd like to read about that, please. Go right ahead. Heil Speer. Bringing down Goliath. Um, I, have I read this one before? Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure I read this one before, so. Cool. Sorry, I just, I've read, I've, I'm trying to do every single thing you can, almost every single thing you can do in Speer's route, which is kind of making my mind go, my mind go crazy. So it is what it is. The pass is the pass. It's vulnerable. And eh, mass privatization if you want to read about that, please go ahead. Might as well get it done. Might as well. Bringing down Goliath. That night, no shots were fired. Very good. Mass privatization. And let us do now film chain. I don't like it, but Speer might have a point for the once. The East is in shambles with its middle class long gone its economy reduced to agrarianism. Germany has no choice but to accept its role as an overlord for now and maintain close control over economic development. It feels so wrong, but the alternative could devolve into socio-economic chaos if handled incorrectly. The right government and approved representatives shall continue to hold direct control of most Eastern resources and heavy industry for the time being. Eastern workers and the middle class, once it reappears, will operate under German tutelage so that we can impart our knowledge and expertise to them. The independence will thus be delayed, but will also potentially be a lot more stable. Not my preferred opinion, but or option, but perhaps it's for the best. Ripaulu, huh? Saul Niok. And no, oh, Ukraine. Taste. The days of future past. Um, if you want about that, please go right ahead. I believe I've read this one, so. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have. And then Caucasian. Closing. On the Volga, Panovitz, and Runa. And we own uh, Brauschitz tattoo, so it's really nice, too. Alright, come back over here. Alright, Sviaka, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. That's getting close. That's getting quite close. Getting that one done. After the firm chain, ooh, we'll do this technology first. Um, yes. Yavol. 21 billion, that's a lot of cost, man. That is a lot of cost. So after that one, I guess we can do... Ooh, I forget. Did I do Europe's Dreams or the Reichs Needs? I think I went with the Reichs... I didn't go with the Reichs Needs. I think I went with the European Dreams. If you want to go about that, please go ahead. We'll probably actually go ahead and do the Reichs Needs next. Well, when we get over here, of course. But we need to finish that one out first. So let's come back over here and we'll do the new workforce. If you'd like to read about the new workforce, please, of course, like normal, go right ahead and read. So, a foam chain. Very good. What else do we have here? Anything important? Yes. Anything up here? No. 93% stability is pretty good. Um, where are we at? It looks like it's about to take over. Okay, so now somewhat reformist. So from here on out, I don't think we need to do any more campaigning. So this should end relatively soon, even though it, it, this does give us a lot of political power. Like, it's really good for political power. The future prospects of youth. There we go. Very nice. Very good, very good, very good. I might just boost it up and just not even do a campaign. Very good, very good, very good, very good. And the land of wine and strife. The French have suffered much in the last years, but partially at the hands of the Reich nonetheless. Convincing them to join the Einheit's Pact again is going to be difficult and will require some concessions. But we have to try, otherwise the land of wine will say a cauldron of instability. Of course, France sides with Italy. Or if science is not with Italy, but with us. In the land of wine and strife, if you'd like to hear about that, please go ahead. Boom. They'd be fools not to go with us. And a new Deutschland would be really good to get. Um, through to the economy, why not? We can go and read about that. Boom. Nice. We're gonna need a lot of PP, not gonna lie. A lot, a lot, a lot of PP. Media manipulation, of course. Why would they manipulate their words? An attempted hope. There you go. Let's hope we won't need a miracle in the Garon. Because this is getting a little too high. It's about to get right there. Ah, fruits of the economy. Now, let's go with more conservative side. Is it possible right now? Yes, right here. But maintaining the hierarchy. Though he perhaps went on too far on, on occasion, Hitler had the right idea. The establishment and preservation of a racial hierarchy was necessary for the future of a great nation. We saw what happened in the days before National Socialism. Degeneracy, weakness, blood, depravity, and disease. Ethnic Germans found themselves terrorized across Europe, persecuted by Poles and Bolsheviks in particular. Hitler only acted in defense of his race and culture. The world's colonial powers did the same thing throughout the world, and for much less noble reasons. There will be no more pointless violence or forced expropriation of land, but... The notion of treating the lesser races as we do our own is too extreme. How we can ask our citizens, soldiers, and colonists to give up what they have earned in our decades-long national struggle? The hierarchy remains, though of course we will take the steps to rationalize and moderate it for the sake of European harmony and the long-term security of the Reich. Despite the end of the Germanization, a hierarchical system will remain in the Reichslander. 
Ah, that's going to make a lot of people happy. Totally. Totally. Over the moon. If you like to do that, please go right ahead. Au revoir. Okay, so now... Are we ticking it all? We're slowly, slowly getting more... Uh, reformist. So, we might not want to do that. So, if we do this, we get more weekly stability growth. And we spend a lot of political power. We get, a, like right now, like earlier you saw it was a 3 point something. Now it's 1.71. Um, I might just go back. I don't know. I want to do the propaganda stuff. We need to do it. Political power, because that gives you a lot more political power. This stuff gives you... Uh, actually, we don't need to spend that much, really. Alright, so this one. I might actually go conservative then. Oh. Uh... Well, yeah, I guess you probably need at least a little bit of money. A little more stability growth. A little bit more regime ticking, so... And that's really, really pretty high. You know what? Let's, let's do that. Because all I want is a political power. Oh, and we hit... Oh, God. Ooh. Yeah, we went up just a little bit too far. Regime alignment currently is a conservative monthly tick in between... Oh, it's in between still, so... I don't know. If this doesn't work out well for us... I mean, it, it's at this, at this point in the campaign, it doesn't really matter too much to me. A segregated society. The Reich and National Dadius in general are often vilified as racist. That is a crude, thoughtless, horrible simplification of a very complicated matter. A more accurate term would be race realists. Anyone who picks up a history book can see the constant mixing of races is nothing but cause of conflict. An Andalus, Rome, Achaemenad, Persia, all of these tolerant and multicultural societies ultimately fell to infighting and ethnic strife. When we enforce strict separation between races, we act in everyone's best interests. It's better this way, you know. One can maintain a hierarchy without hate. Must the worker hate his boss? Or the layman hate his priest. The divisions exist elsewhere in society, in class, income, and culture, but nobody complains about those. Recognizing and supporting the clear delineations between races is natural, sensible, and humane. So that means our... Because right now we have conservative tech. Words which govern life and death. Um, Some things... Ah, I remember this one. Anybody about this, please go ahead. Uh, because we're kind of going neutral, it doesn't really matter. Um, let's, let's go. This shame took you so long. I'm glad to have you, however. Let's say some things are better left unsaid and unspoken of. At the grown we meet. If you like to about that, please go right ahead. Very good. And then, actually, let's go and do cleans the this stain. If you want to about that, please go ahead. And because right now we're going to do stuff against the Reichswerk. There we go. Good. Very good. Really clean them all, because we're going to talk about ending the policy of Germanization. Though propagating strong German genes throughout Europe is undoubtedly a good thing, actively supporting such civilizing efforts is an expense we can no longer afford. The ambitious and adventurous man needs no prodding from the right government to go forth and multiply on virgin lands. All official German Germanization programs will come to an end soon, and the, founding and the funding reallocated to more worthy, worthy endeavors. That said, there's always room for improvement, room for a Bulgarian family to relocate to the frontiers and spread the light of Germanic civilization. Though forced Germanization is now off the table, we shall remain open. Open-minded. Ah, yes. Open-minded. That is what we are here. Open-minded <clears throat> sons of Germania. Absolutely. And anything here? Not, that's pretty good. Dinner with Bujad. Daring today, aren't we? Nah, conf training? Fair enough. The French will prove if regime stability goes down. Um, honestly, I want them with us, so... If you want to that, that's great. Uh, fair enough. That's fine with me. I don't really care. I want them with us. I want... Italy to be weak and ineffective. Uh, is regressing? Yeah, I don't want to go up too much, so. Even though it is a little confusing reading that, so. Alright. Oh my gosh, teach loyalty to the Reich. Before the Reich came, what did the foreign child know? Governments that did not serve them, brutal ideologies that murdered their parents, and nationalistic brainwashing that prevented them from imagining a better future, of course. There were casualties when the Wehrmacht swept away the old order, but was such as war. A few died so that millions might live happy, prosperous lives under the benevolent guardianship of the Reich. Now we will honor the sacrifices of those that, who did not live to see this day. non erring children will be given a fair and honest education, something they would have been denied without us. A new curriculum will be devised by the finest minds of National Socialist Academia, providing strong foundations for the lesser races to stand upon in the future. This, more than anything else, will make us n known throughout the world as a true force for civilization, not an ideology-obsessed imperialist power. Once even the children of Slavs, Balts, and others are singing our praises, who would ever doubt us again? The enemy looking within. If you want to about that, please go ahead. As well as digestive. Um, that's fine. We'll do this one too. I I, I don't care what the other one says. I want them with us. I mean, because we want them in the Zolverine. We really, really want them in the Zolverine. Because we don't like the Italians for now. For now. All right. The fate of the Accord. You have a. Oh yeah, we did do stuff with the uh, the Brittany. 
We prefer, yeah, well, we prefer smaller friends, but we need them. I know I'm sp I said I'd do stuff that's a little different than last time, but, like, I'm going to be real here, man. I want to make sure we do well, no matter what. And a bigger Zolverine is probably a better Zolverine. Alright. Thank you. A little bit of conflict never hurt these people. And we don't have PP to spend. Oh, crap, that's right. We're going to need PP for this stuff. There you go. Right, where is it? Because we have options about that when, it, when, it, when we first start it, so... Hey, our GDP is getting cl really close to our debt, which is not bad. Follow Rolo, Warpath. Alright. Separate but equal. Hmm. Lose political power, revival of the Reichstag. Uh, we definitely need more political power. And trying to find political power here is not good. Not easy, at least. And that is for the reformist side. Um, I'd like to go on this side. I did this one last side and did the Gilded Marshal. I think I did. Actually, maybe I did this one. I can't even remember, I'll be honest. Um, we are not complicit. We get people there, so we are not complicit. Germany cannot deny that many of its sons and daughters turned against Hitler, and Germany cannot deny that among them there were some who desired his downfall and those who believed in him. However, Germany must realize that one group above all has done the most to destroy everything. It must realize that this group is not, is, uh, <clears throat> the SS. Yes, the SS. It's all their fault, not ours. Their fault. Don't miss Hamburg. We'll leave that Polish one in for now. Cool. We are not complicit. And anyone who says we are, well, they're going to go bye-bye. Cool. And then we'll do the mistakes, mistakes of the past. Heinrich Kimmler, the head of the SS, in the face of his infamous state of Burgundy, an artificial entity shaped out of the corpse of France and Belgium, is, is and was responsible for the stains which ruined Hitler's reputation. But most of all, they are the ones who corrupted this party and this country. All the mistakes of the past are because of Himmler and his SS. Absolutely. Who needed political power, right? Who needed it? All right, two to four, three to four, that one, anything here. We're still here for now. I still hope we're going down. Four, five, five out of five hundred. Four, five, five. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what we can do. All right, we got a little more PP. There you go. Mistakes of the past. As we get a little bit more political power that we could really actually use right now. So, send reinforcements. Because they will go to war eventually. I don't mind sending them a few guys first or something. Get them a few guns, maybe. Maybe they'll like that. Uh, how we get... Oh. Do we not launch a campaign or something? I, we spent so much... Okay, maybe next time I'm just going to max it out. Up oh, and there goes Africa. Goodbye, Africa. Hallelujah. The end... The bitter end of the Reichstadt. If you want to that, please go ahead. Don Hutig. Even in death, he still causes damage. Yeah, how are we not getting any more political power because of this? Man, that sucks. Wait for it. Fingers pointed at Himmler. Himmler is a criminal and a trickster who wishes to take over the Reich for himself. His men are too minions. Are his men too? Men too are minions. We cannot forgive. We must set ourselves apart from them, and for the sake of the fatherland, we must make a decision. We can either refuse recognition for him as part of our government, or we can start confronting him. One way or another, we cannot let him continue to be a menace to the good future of our fatherland. Where can we get involved too? Because they will go to war. Um, I might want to save some of this peepee then. Do that. Do that. Thank you. Uh, five is not bad. Two to four. Two to four. Uh, do that one first. It's fine. I still want to get rid of this stuff, though. Hey, 23 million slaves. That's not bad, actually. That's really good. Uh, compared to where we were at before. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, let's start working on this one. Here, hit him. Hit him. Oh, 80% is really good. And we're going to wait for that one. They're at five as well, which is fine. Yeah, you're going to have some reinforcements, too. We'll be nice to you. And then we're going to come back to the left side here, because now we have some PP. 
let's go ahead and do separate but equal. The Americans are rarely right about anything, but they were right about race relations. Segregation doesn't have to be an obstacle to education, employment, or life opportunities. Under Speer's new national socialism, the Untermensch can enjoy all the benefits of living in the right without the difficulties that come with a desegregated society. Jobs, schools, hospitals, and parks, all theirs now and forever without our own people imposing on them. We learned from the Americans once before, when the Nuremberg Laws were first enforced. We took their system and approved it upon it then, and now we have the chance to refine it further. No matter the bad, bad blood between us, the Reich will always owe this small debt to Uncle Sam. Okay, so the next time I'm going to just maximize everything we have for this. I, like, yeah, this is going down, which is fine. Fine with us right now, we just have to bounce it out. Well, one time we'll probably go, like, max it out for reformists, and then other time we'll max it out for conservatives. But my god, can, I just, I just want to, can I help you kill them off? They're supposed to go to war soon, eventually, right? Uh, do we have to do anything else here for them? Here, I'll, just, I'll send some, some volunteers. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that might be it. Regime stability goes down, but I don't care. 87% is really good, still. Uh, we can always boost it up anyways. 84, 84, 84, 84. We can wait. Alright. I'll trip all back. Now, uh, if you want to know about that, please go ahead. Good. Because I've already read that one before. That happens every time. When you complete that side, so... Um, no, not going to go to war yet. Seven and eight, eh? Well, let us risk it. Let us risk it. If we do nothing, we lose, and that's nothing we don't want to happen. But, hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay. Myself. 94% chance. That's not too bad. Um, really, let's, I'm just going to dismantle Reichsvecker first. Because that's the biggest area that they have there, which is really bad. Ah, trip all back. Ah, yes, I got nine. Hey, not bad. Hopefully, they get to three there. Ninety-four, ninety-four, ninety-four. Ah, oh, modified camera. Why not? At ninety-four percent chance, I think we can start doing this one. So, uh, if you want to know about that, please go ahead. We gotta get the Crimea back. Ah, they got launch, fall, roll. Good. I don't know if he's really bad since the Civil War, so, but whatever. Um, do this. Bing, bong, bong. Gunter Lunta. I had a stroke of a pen, but that was great. For the good of the Reich. Go, go, go. And don't forget to see Kyle when you're down there. And boom. Beautiful. Go right on ahead, guys. Have a good old time. I love the tanks. Ah, oh, yes. 94% chance we should win down there, right? And we won! Look at that. Who would have thunk it? Um, just in case. Head over here. And you guys, thank you for playing. I'll probably not even touch you for the rest of the campaign. Goodbye. What do we want to do? Solve the Wehrmacht problem. If you want to build that, please go right ahead. We have a wary, very wary Wehrmacht. But it is what it is, you know. Down over Bordeaux. Uh, Valiant Cour Rien de Impossible. Nice. Very good. And now we're at six and eight. We won the first one, which is great. Man, that. The sounds right now. The MIDI files. Oh my goodness. Oh, now we're neutral. Look at that. Now we're neutral. That's kind of cool. Awesome. Two political power every day. Not bad. Reduce ration cards. Might as well. Like, that, that could be really good for us. Um, anything else here? Anything else? Yes. Scout helos. And acting on our promises, let's do outmaneuvering the mega corporations. We do. Oh, France rejoins Einheit's back. Yes, please. Uh, uh, Finder, Werden, Freunde. If you like about this, please go ahead, because we have a lot of stains to clean out here. And we like to get to the perfect land, a new model col colony model. Actually, if you want to do about this one, please go ahead first. Oh, boy. As well as a new model army. So, onwards to victory, my friends. Onwards to victory. Uh, anything else? Ah, oh, we're ten! So good, so good. Very nice. Going to go to. Ah, maneuvering the mega corporations. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, our GDP is bigger than our debt. And the propaganda campaign ended meeting for a banquet. There you go. Alright, so right now, it's still looking... <sighs> it's neutral. But I want to get a lot more PP. Is it possible to get even more PP? Because I don't mind spending a lot of PP here... Um, you can max it out. I want to get more political power. I really want more political power. I really don't care which way we go. 1.65 is really not good, though. Really not good. Whew. 
Well, from here on out, like, we're going to be taking a lot of the conservative route then. So that's okay with us. So I've done the right side, the global responsibilities before I've done that one. I've done uh, the no more favors one as well. So actually we're going to go to the left side eventually, so... Ooh. Do we have any? Oh, it's stuff here. Social market, you have dreams. Um, I did this one before, so if you want to read about this one, please go right ahead, but... Ooh. Let's wait. I'm going to wait first. And we're at... Yeah, I think we'll just max out the conservative side. An opponent feast. Freedom will be won at the dining table. Cool. Go conservative for now. And just balance it out. Social outlook regression will go down, which is not great. But 20% more political powers. I can't beat that right now, so. The social state. <clears throat> I was never enamored by other welfare state established by Bismarck. It certainly helped keep socialism at bay, but the sheer amount of money and red tape involved made it heck to keep running. However, try as I might, I can't convince the others that the social state, as they're calling it now, is a suboptimal route for us to take. I must admit that the whole idea of encompassing more than just economics vitals those are, so I'm willing to give some ground here. If Speer is willing to support it, then I won't fight them on it. If they want to deal with the ramifications in 23 years, that's by fine by me. I'll direct the Reichswehrschaft's uh, ministerium to begin funding the social state programs drawn up by Kissinger. No doubt many of them will need revising by a learned economist. I hope that Speer knows what he's doing by approving this. One, two, three. Oh, we lose so much PP. That is unfortunate. But we already spent stuff here, so. Um, two, oh, maybe that was really bad. Regressing that much? Okay, maybe that was a waste of PP. My bad. I'll be honest, like, half the time, I'm for this campaign, like, and I'm incorporating, like, all the other Speer campaigns, the reformist was easiest, except for the regime stability. Understanding, like, no, this stuff, I don't know, just, mm -hmm. it is what it is. I want more PP, though. After this, we're going to focus a lot more on the Wehrmacht. Yeah. we will focus a lot more on the Wehrmacht. Because we get a lot of PP out of that stuff, so. Social state. And the Reich's needs, um, we can do that, but we're going to wait. Let's go with Prussia's glory. Um, Army professional doesn't improve. We're going to eyes the horizon first. If you're worried about that, please go ahead. And then new skies for old eagles. Not bad. Because I've already read that before, so. If you like to read it, I always welcome you guys to read it first. So, or, if you want, so. Right, anything else here just yet? No. Social state's nice. Neutral. We're really trying to regress it for now. Ten is just great. I love it. It starts with you. There you go. And remember, a good Aryan man makes for a good Aryan Reich. Burgundian bunkers? What are they doing over there? Burgundy. I don't know, but we just took up Brittany, so... You might be getting a little closer to them, right? No? Yes? Maybe? Anything else here? Um, it's quite ahead of time. Just do that one. It really doesn't matter what technology we do right now. So, Old Glory. The officers of the Corps of the Luftwaffe and they represent an experienced body of men despite their political affiliations. Goring had an eye for talent, at least, and many have been involved in aviation since the Great War. They know their planes, and it would be foolish to dispose of them merely because it serves OKW politically. As instead of abandoning these veterans, we shall affirm their well-earned place in the Luftwaffe's hierarchy. They have simple needs and will be easily swayed, or at least persuaded to sit down, shut up, and take orders without complaint. And get more political power. Ineffective. It is what it is. There you go. We can lose that command power for now. We can afford it for now. Um, bing bong boom. Thank you. And nothing done there. Cool. What did we lose? We lost something there. Use guys for old eagles. There you go. If you remember that, please grab God, Did him and what did Herman do to the Luftwaffe? And impense for the UAE. Well, good luck with that. We're very stable here, though. Very very stable. And then the Knights of the Sky. Honorary, bravery, chivalry, the pilots of the Luftwaffe, whenever they fly solo or on cruise, keep the old imperial tradition of airborne knighthood alive. Truly, are they not the Knights of Modern Era? As a pilot who souls into action to smash a bomber formation not to the infantry, what knights were to the men at arms? Of course, they, this cult of knightly valor is BS, but it's relatively harmless BS, and there's no point in curtailing it in the name of professionalization. If the Luftwaffe wants to continue with their parallel games of heroism, let them. Some object to their self-glorification, but it doesn't affect their professionalism one bit while on duty. Let the other branches complain a bit of preening and unwarranted self-importance never hurt anyone. Reforms, my friends, reforms. And could we build any more up here? Yes. Very good. Eventually we'll run out of things to do, so we'll just build up here too, so. We are reforming and giving these people jobs, unless they really want to revolt. A peninsula returned. Ah, if you like to read about that, please go ahead. Where is Donitz? Heim in the Reich. 
Focus on that one first up. Uh, Super Battalion, goodbye. What is this? Five and four. Um, two to four. One to two. There you go. Not bad. Uh, 100% uh, regime stability? Yes, very good. Alright, 100% chance. Unternehmen Gehilfe. If you're worried about that, please go right ahead. All glory. Ah, more PP, please. We need big PP here. The grandeur of flight. Keeping the rank and file of peace isn't enough. If we want to retain the Luftwaffe's loyalty, we have to show that we're willing to continue being the patron in place of the beloved Reichsmarschall. They might suspect us of attempting to subvert the institution if we didn't. Rook's Luftwaffe command has been pressing us to endorse any recruitment drive, and doing so would be a good first step towards improving our relations. The Führer has put forward the idea of putting the Ministry of Propaganda at the Luftwaffe's disposal for a short time. That would definitely give the impression that we trust them and foster some degree of loyalty. Good. Um. Is that really bad? Oh, there's no slaves here, so there's that one too. Oh, thank you. No slaves? Good. Hey, they're almost gone. They're literally almost gone. We got two left here. Bing, and then the bong over there. 22 million slaves left? Not bad. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, though. Probably not in this episode, but in the next episode, I'm probably going to use console commands because there's going to be a time when our focus tree changes, and I want to make sure I get through everything first before we, you know, have to switch trees, so... The lessons from the Reichs Marshal. One look at the, at the Luftwaffe High Command should tell you what they care about. Gilded uniforms, shiny medals, colorful ribbons, all for the talents. They remain vainglorious, petty men who prioritize appearances and personal advancement over having a rewarding and fruitful career. The methods of dealing with them are shady and outright out of Goring's handbook on leadership, but if they work, they work. Gold, silver, and freshly minted Reichsmarks can rally such men to our side far more quickly than any amount of charisma or ideological proclamations. Flieger und Sieger. Fritz Jakobsen looked outside the window, the evening sun painting the sky of Nuremberg in dozens of shades of pink. Such a perfect time to fly, he thought with a small sigh, then he chuckled. His wife always complained that he lost entire hours staring outside the window, but what could he do? He was an aviator, his very soul linked to the endless blue. Only his brothers in arms could understand the feeling of longing to be up there, high into the clouds, literally on top of the world. Humans, however... Unlike birds, the artificial wings that reach above the clouds, and he was too old for that now, so he did the only thing he could do, look outside and remember the old days. His gaze passed over the small display case near the fireplace. His two iron crosses were there alongside his pistol and a small piece of the airplane. He almost died inside when he was down the second time. He shuddered the memory. But even those difficult days were so beautiful, dangerous, and exciting back then. When he had served the Kaiser in Italy and France, airplanes were but wooden caskets with an engine to think that such things could fly even without exploding. And a hero was witness to the agility and power and to the bravery and camaraderie of the men piloting them. He remembered the Car Caproni bomber he desperately tried to take down above Treviso, only for himself to be the one falling to the ground. He remembered flying over the dun during a night with no moon, the artillery strikes lighting the darkness like a starry sky upside down. He remembered his comrades, his friends, and even his enemies, all people who fought with their life to the line and never surrendered. A voice awakened Fritz from a small trip into the past, and he realized the sun had long since set. set. Poor Margaret. She cooked for him and even had to call him. With well, the last look to the sky, he got up from his chair and from the creeks in his bones. He could have sworn it was an airplane taking off. His legs were starting to fail him like an old engine. He turned his back to the window and left, but he knew a part of him was still there, staring at the sky. Once an aviator, always an aviator, and we're done now with all of our research. You, me, we are intellectuals. We have researched as much as we possibly can for the good of the Reich. Seven. Oh, yes. Doing this will force them to go even higher and maybe go over the line. Maintain pensions and benefits? Oh boy. Courtesy of the old patron, Luftwaffe veterans, particularly officers, enjoy higher pensions than the counterparts who serve on the land or sea. Due to Goring's preference for unorthodox methods, this is actually achieved through some fairly shady bureaucracy and is, put it bluntly, not fair or legal at all. However, this greasing of palms may keep the arrogant dudes in line. The Luftwaffe is the only branch of the Wehrmacht to have engaged in active combat duty since the West Russian War, with the constant bombing campaigns over Russia. Those days are over, but rocking the boat could be more trouble than it's worth. Good or bad? Good or bad. Prepare for nationalization. If you like to about that, please go ahead. And we should get a lot more PP, which would be nice. But at the same time, we're going to uh, need to use them all up as fast as possible. Thank you. Bop, bop, thank you. Let's go. Yes. Because we're going to lose this PP immediately. Oh, uh, what's happening over here? We won. I'm done. We're done with this one. Goodbye, Sylvia. Thank you for joining us. With or without your consent. Consent not needed here, my friends. Acting on our promises, if you like to read about that, please go ahead. Now, the reformist cause will significantly benefit, which causes 5% regime stability. Skilled workforce will benefit, which is fine for us. I do not want to do the great tax reduction, even though I would like to get to a new Deutschland, which would be really good, but I think we're okay for now. We'll try to finish this up right here, and then we'll come back down south and finish off the Luftwaffe. Um, the conservative side will benefit. It's fine, whatever. It's totally fine with us. 
because this is a mixed approach to Speer. Papa Albert. Uh, Speer, he is an interesting character in TNO. I, I, I'm not going to say I love what they did with him, but it makes for really good storytelling. Cool, acting out of promises. Oh, oh, now we're down here. Okay, now we got to go the other way now with a conservative tick and in between pivot. So now we're going to tick the other way when we get this one done. So it is what it is. We're just playing games here. Across your heart, do not salute. Um, uh, what is this one? Oh, religious policy. Ah, uh, I'm not really sure. I think for now, I'm going to go re reformist. Whenever something like this, and the Gang of Four brings up something to talk about, I'm going to go ahead and go along with them. I think that'll be cool because we're already pretty conservative right now. So I don't want to say this is fine. Take your victory and leave. Of modest resolve, yes. And we're going to build up. It's good. Not deputy fear for no reason. Secularism. I cannot let this happen. I must reverse my decision. Versus a choice cannot be made now. I need time to think. Like oh. I don't. I won't bother with this fear. I hope I don't regret this. This includes religion. It is outdated. The Redeemer in chains. Hmm. I don't know. Just let do that one. I. The Redeemer walks free. It's fine. What it is. Whatever. 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 If you want, I don't know. If you want me to go about the other route and do that again, please let me know. We'll see what happens. Good. Keep it going down. Keep it going down. Um. Anything else here? No. Anything else here? Not yet. And then an internal investigation. And we're gonna lose a lot of PP, so that's fine. Saving face. Who? Ooh, they're formers. Uh, who knew facts could be so inconvenient? Ah, the Baron Union. Very good. You want to build up? Let's go ahead. Who said propaganda wasn't useful? Good. And we're still improving ourselves quite a bit. Like, look at all this stuff. Very nice. Army professionalism is really bad right now, but whatever. Poverty rate is improving rapidly. We're almost about to get better in poverty rate. That is very nice, my friends. All right. Up next. Uh, decisions here. Uh, top. Top fair kite, yes. Alden shot bugging, yes, please. Anything else? No, no, no. I just gotta keep an eye on this really quick, closely. So, all right, see. And then a perfect plan. There you go. As well as a treatment for cancer. Cool. This is very weird music. I'll be honest. This is very weird. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Things are coming along swimmingly. We're reforming ourselves, enjoying ourselves, having a good old time. And if you want to read about. Actually, I'll read this one. Swastika flies high. The Luftwaffe, thanks to his close ties with the late Reich's Marshal, has always been the true arm wing of the party, not the SS, who are always just a paramilitary playing games. Only the Luftwaffe have remained true believers in national socialism regardless of circumstances. With Himmler's heretics gone, it falls to a brave knight to defend the Reich from these threats presented by modern warfare. So, no fear of it. What we have promised, in essence, is to give the Luftwaffe free reign to manage their own affairs in return for loyalty. How long that will last has not been clarified by the Führer's new friends. One can only hope that the Luftwaffe will be content to forever rest on the laurels. Until the time comes to rein them in properly, someday. At least someday. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but a day will come. Are these pure reactionaries? Um, actually, let's do that one. I want to get more political power. I don't care what happens. I want more PP. The more PP we have, the happier we are. Beautiful. That's going to come along very nicely, too. Do it again, because you can. Cool. Looking really good. We will be able to smelt them very, very soon, which is awesome, 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 awesome. 100% stability. Exactly what we want. Conservative victory in Canada, huh? Achievement for cancer. There you go. Will they thank us for this? Your days are numbered. The swastika flies very high, though. Meeting with cigars. That is so weird, man. That is so weird. Oh, and now we're on the reformist side here. Okay. Um, this is so weird. It's a slightly reformist tick, and it's in between. At this point, I mean, I'm not going to do... Uh, three, uh, there's really two, but... Is it worth even doing that anymore? Oh, there you go. We heard our consumer goods, but that's a lot more political power. By hook or crook, we've tamed Goring's pet ego. Now, now they fly for the Reich, not his. Finally, the core of our global power projection is back into the fear's control and will get, no longer balk at every other order we give them. What will this accomplish? We possess the means to defend our ground forces from airstrikes, carrying out search and destroy operations against insurgents. And should the need ever arise, launch nuclear strikes without the use of ICBMs. Though we pray the day will never come, we can at least be thankful that the Japanese and Americans no longer hold a certain advantage against us in the air. Nice. Anything up top that... Three versus zero. Very nice. Very good. 
and we want to get all that stuff done. So we're done with this side. We're done with this. We're done with that stuff down there. If you like to read about the revival of the Mittel Stamp, it's good ahead. Your days are numbered. This means war. Oh boy. Oh. Revival of the Mittelstein, and then the past of the past. If you like about that, please go ahead. Repatriation efforts will be enhanced. Very good. I want to get that one done, and then cut down on some more enemies first, and then do the Reich's needs, which would be good to do. Another meeting with Erhard. Don't I have a say in this? Don't I have a say? Maybe, maybe not. So much PP, but really, PP is there's never enough. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna keep it here. That's actually really good. That's actually really nice where we want it. So. The past of the past. I mean, we could go extremely reformist, but whatever. Um, the Reich's needs. Domination by Speer might be right again. The Zollverein is a German creation will almost certainly remain so regardless of how much I try to change that fact. I suppose there's no use in continuing to deny the reality of the situation. Now isn't the time for high-minded ideals, no matter what Schmidt says. The Zollverein shall, for the foreseeable future, remain a customs union inherently German in nature. In addition, uh, <clears throat> To keeping it centralized under the German control, we shall encourage your German ways of doing things in our economic partners. If it works for us, it should work for them as well. I'd rather they learn through experience than being dictated to, but we may as well make the best possible use of our European dominance. Very good. The Reich's needs. A great conspiracy. Oh, conspiracies. How I love them. Alright. And this one's almost done. Got two days left. Very good. Alright. There we go. Reichsvecker, you are vulnerable. Really beat the crap out of them. Cool, 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 and yes, thank you, my friends, thank you. Nothing down there? Very good. Let time go on, let it go on, we'll be fine. Not enough PP, but hey, look, how's the GDP looking? The annual deficit, we improved poverty, but it got even worse here. Yay! <laughs> the deficit, why is it so high? Ah! Anyways, um, I do want, I will, like, rush through some of these later on, like, using, uh, like, you know, basically consequence, but if you want to read about promoting small businesses, please go right ahead. That'll be good to get done. 24 per, uh, command power is not bad. Let's see, the oil crisis spawns in what, 1970 is it? 69, 70, 71, something like that? And then everything else. I think the the last big event will happen in 71, actually. That's when it happens. The last big event. So it's 1970, you must have the oil crisis. I never remember. The Reich's needs. Mein Führer Erhard began splaying his fingers across the map of Europe, pointing point a finger of place on the heart of the Reich. I understand that you have some incessant need to plunder the countries you control, but all that would lead to is a slow deterioration of the relationships with the other Zolverein members. He looked up towards Speer and saw the glint in his eyes. He wasn't good. This wasn't good. Herr Erhard, you should understand the main principle of this union between countries. It has never, Erhard, felt like he wanted to rip a finger or rip on the paper right where the capital was. A benevolent, equal partnership. Speer put both his hands on the table and looked down and displayed one over the territories beyond the Reich. These are territories we have conquered all fair and well in a war that we started. If there's anyone to be determining who gets what, it shall be us. The minister licked his lips. He could have he could have gone for a drink right about now. Is that really at Meinfuhrer? Just a sentimental one too. There was no way Speer would have believed that in that only, could he? Meinfuhrer, I hope you have a good, very good reason to stick to this tenement of national socialism. The only role this can take us down is... This... The only road this can take us down is down. Speer took his hands off the table and clasped them behind him. I don't know what you're trying to hear out from me, Erhard, regarding this issue. I believe there was never an issue to begin with. The members of the Zolverine may not be happy about it, but they have nowhere else to turn to. In the end, they can only return to the Reich. Erhard swallowed, taking concentrated breaths. What is it that you want me to do now, then, Meinfuhrer? He asked, nearly falling to failing to conceal his anger in his voice. Isn't it obvious? He rhetorically asked. I want you to let Herr Kiesinger that the Reich's policy remains the same. Was sein muss, muss sein. The payments to the Zolverein's budget will increase by 5%, while Germany's budget payout will increase by 5%. What is going on? The man on the British countryside. Okay, leaving shore. Cool. Trying out some other ones, though. Um, hey, 32. Not bad. Marines, yes. We got another one, my friends. Another one completed. Another mega corporation has been put in its place. Great game. We they lay 1 1, which is fine. A small boon for businesses. There you go. If you like to read about that. C'est la vie. Just one success story of many. Silent the mega corporations, please. Yes, more stability. Reichsvecker dismantled. Another conglomerate ended. 150 more political power. More regime stability, and it goes up by 10 more percent. So good. We have a lot of people now. Wow, that's, that is a lot. Um, how many slaves are over here? Less than 20 million slaves in this region. I mean, that's really good. Some of these regions have way too many slaves. Sud Deutschland? Nice, look at that. I mean, we're, we're going very nicely at this. 
Uh, you might be able to do that. There's not that many slaves here, so. And economic revolution. Sehr gut. All right, all right. Because I know later on there's going to be like, oh look at that. We are conservative. Um, Serbia, so Germany, very good. Uh, at this point, uh, we could try it. If this doesn't go well, I'll come back to the save. But whatever. Let's go. Let's go max out reformists for now. And see what happens. Because we're still going to go more conservative with the uh, route with uh, the military. Um, so yeah, cool. So that's all done for at least what we can do right there for now. But up next, we're going to go ahead and do Looking Seaward. If you're learning about that, please go ahead. As well as the Fleet of Heavens Gemini. With Africa lost to us, there's no point in trying to get creative with the Kriegsmarine. We have our empire, let us protect it. The Reich will be best served knowing its maritime borders are secure, nothing more. If you're about that, please go ahead. The untouchable menace finally begins to open. However, if the US Navy showed up in European waters tomorrow, we would likely lose. Our efforts should be focused on making sure such an event never happens. The entire Atlantic coastline is ours, and the world should know it every time they look in our direction. This will be achieved by reorganizing doctrine to a focus on territorial defense, along with a general program of modernizations. Wehrmacht Reform Outlook derailed. Maybe we're going too far with this, but I think I've got to end it there for today. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll accrue a larger and larger deficit and have a good time with somewhat centrist Speer. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.